Do you know which model iPhone you have? No, I don't mean like the iPhone 6 Plus or the iPhone 8. I mean which model number. If you're downloading firmware or you're trying to sell your phone, the exact model number might be important. And here's how to find it. We all know that Apple has different models of iPhones. I might have an iPhone 7 Plus with 128 gigs of storage in rose gold, and you might have an iPhone 7 Plus with 32 gigs of storage in jet black. But there are further differences, ones that aren't so obvious. Within the same iPhone configuration, there are separate models that support different cellular bands and sometimes have entirely different cellular modem hardware. This is your phone's A number, and here's how you find it. On any phone up to the iPhone 7 Plus, just look at the tiny text on the bottom of the back of your phone. It's extremely tiny, so dig out your magnifying glass. On the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10, you have to find this number in the settings. And that could be a real problem if your phone is inoperable. Open settings, then general, then about, and halfway down the page, you'll see a model number listed. But that's not the model number we're after. Tap it and you'll see that A model number we talked about. You can see my iPhone 10 is A1901, which means it is the GSM only version for AT&T or T-Mobile. If that was A1865, that would be the model for Verizon, Sprint, or the unlocked carrier free versions. Now, most of the time you won't need to worry about this A number, but it is a good thing to include in your listing if you sell your phone on a service like eBay or Craigslist. And you'll need it if you ever have to download a firmware file from the web to restore your phone using iTunes.